Last month, the U.S. Supreme Court reversed a long-standing Chevron doctrine. This doctrine said that in a court of law, judges were expected to defer to federal experts to interpret laws that were considered ambiguous or unclear. Basically, with this reversal, federal experts are being removed from the equation. Now, judges will be expected to interpret the law to come to their final decision on a case. With this change, other changes to the regulation process may come as well. It could lead to an increase in legal challenges against federal agency regulations. The increase in legal challenges could force the lawmakers to make these laws clear from the get-go, or they could just end up in longer legal battles. Here's a quick hypothetical scenario on how this might affect the trucking industry. Let's say Congress passes a law mandating testing and treatment for sleep disorders as part of a CDL medical certification. But the text doesn't clearly define what a sleep disorder is. In a following regulation, the FMCSA defined it as an occasional workday nap or midday drowsiness. This is an issue because thousands of drivers would need to go through expensive and time-consuming sleep tests just because they take a nap here and there. So, OIDA decides to challenge that. Under the Chevron Doctrine, challenges to these types of regulations would favor the federal agency's interpretations because they assume that the law is reasonable and they know what they're talking about. But by revising the Chevron Doctrine, courts would need to take a closer look at the intent of these laws. In this case, they might say that lawmakers were likely wanting to address severe sleep disorders, not just a daytime nap, and reference a list of those severe sleep disorders from the CDC. There are countless ways the trucking industry could be affected, and this is just one. If you have any questions about this or other regulations, give us a call, email, or fill out the form below, and one of our DOT compliance specialists will be happy to help.